be the most common thing that people ask? Why? Don't have the filter out of the box. Oh yeah, okay. The primary function of the UV filter will be for protection. Okay, so I don't know much about lenses, so what exact, or filters, I mean, I shouldn't have said that, sorry, <laughs> I don't need to do that again. So I see four different types of filter all marked UV in front of me here. What is the difference between all of them? I'll do that again because that, Jesus, there is war going on out there. Easy on and quick release, easy off. Easy on and quick release, easy off. Okay. So. And it's a modular system as well, so you can adapt to everything for in the excess. Oh, oh no. <laughs> there we go. Oh, are. brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's designed to be safe and secure and like a holster type, like you're saying, like a cowboy. Mm -hmm. um, you think of a gun coming out of a holster. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't say that. can't say a fing gun. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! god. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we go on anyway. So, um, if you look at what accessories are available, um, there are a few available that will do different. Oh, hold on, you got it. Yeah. Stop that. Yeah. Stop that. Fine. Here's Drew telling us a bit about the GFX. Oh, it's going too slow. Capabilities of the GFX 50s. I'll have to redo that whole. GFX 50S is a really well to the, the f So how does it perform? The whole as we've come to expect from the Fujifilm. We already have this anyway. In camera. So how does it perform? It's got Okay, this will be voiceover anyway. It's compact and lightweight for a medium format camera. These cameras stand side by side in the range, but there is a clear distinction between the specs on the cameras and the type of user that they're aimed at. Let's take a look at its features. Blah, 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 blah. We've got ISO 100 to 25,600, no low pass filter and picture control, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't hit the pause button. Which connects the camera wireless through and fucking hell, this is going too fast, sorry. The new sensor brings with it a Let's talk autofocus. Okay, it hasn't played. Okay. Let's talk autofocus. Let's talk image quality. We've got ISO 100 to 25,600, no low pass filter, and picture control image effects. Sorry. Should I stop? No, it's okay, I'll keep going. There's also a wireless connectivity with Nikon SnapBridge feature, which connects the camera wireless. That should be which connects the camera wirelessly through low power, shouldn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. I'm here with Brian from Birmingham's today. <laughs> In live view mode, focus shift, and more. Quite frankly, at the time of recording this. Hello, and welcome to Birmingham Cameras Online. We have always been huge fans of the Lumix range of cameras, but something that is mentioned to us, sorry, it's going so slowly at the bottom, um, not aimed at photographers or, or not a photography brand. Today, we're taking a look at the Panasonic Lumix G, oh, sorry, it's gone. I'm sure you're wondering what we mean by this. Well, the X-H1 can now focus down to one, oh, bah, bah. So anyway, this is coming up after this. Even effective apertures as small as F11. Now, like all Fujifilm models, as the demonstrate how great the lip on is. It's good enough for you, Adrian. That says it all, really, doesn't it? If you'd like to know more about the Zikon, no, the Zikon. The Zikon. <laughs> Hey. Oh, oh, Jules. Oh, Zip on. Still rolling. Okay. 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 Let's do that last question. Okay. Now, myself and Brian are here with the Christmas gift guide for all things cameras. We've got mirrorless and we've got DSL ores to show you. I don't have to stop and really it's you have to scratch. <laughs> Just here. 
Cheers. <laughs>